I'm going to do a video, let's talk mascaras. So I know a lot of people, you know, always have the question, what's a good mascara to try? Um, what does someone recommend? So I'm going to go through at least uh, probably close to 10 mascaras and share my personal opinion with them. No one paid me, no one influenced me to say this. This is all my personal opinion. So um, I'll talk a little bit about each one and why I do or I don't like them. Um, yeah. The first and foremost, this one's my second one already. I absolutely love this. Most of the time I notice that drugstore brands actually are a lot more better than um, the more expensive brands. So with that said, my first one is the Lash Blast from CoverGirl. This one's the Luxe. It's like this really cute little purple, purpley pink um, packaging. And the reason I like this is because I like the wand. I like the way it applicates. Let's see if you can see it. Um, it's not flexible, which it, I think it would be a lot cooler if it was, but I like the application of it. I only need two coats at the most. I don't like furry spider leg um, eyelashes, and this seems to do the trick. It has really good wear on it. I don't notice a lot of underneath um, pooey <laughs> after a long day, so I really, really like this one. This one's one of my top favorite ones ever. Another one I actually don't have on me is the Lash Stiletto also a drugstore brand. Um, I misplaced it. I have it somewhere. But that one, the wand is slightly different, but same results. Good application and it doesn't wear under your eyes. So that's also a favorite. Um, next one is this Kors Mascara Absinia Oil um, Volumizing and Strengthening. Okay, so I don't need um, a volumizer because I have thick, well not thick, but really long eyelashes. So I don't really want to accentuate that any more than I have to, but I really do like the idea of strengthening. So I tried this Kors one. It looks like this, and I used this for quite a while. Um, I really like it because I do see good results with it. The wand is really tiny. Oop, can't even see it. Like this. Um, I don't notice much clumps. I do need about two to three coats of this one because it does go on thin, but it doesn't end up making you look like you have spider eyes either. Um, this one is available, I believe, um, Ulta or Sephora with all the other Kors products, and it is slightly pricey, but I definitely think this is worth it. So Kors products, in my opinion, are good, so check them out. Let's see. <laughs> I have to go through these one by one. Um, this one is Lancome Parrot, Lancome, however you want to say it, Hypnose Drama Mascara Volume, um, Instant Full Volume, no, Instant Full Body Volume Mascara. It's like this. I got this actually as a, I guess a sample with a purchase, um, at one of the makeup counters that I had a little bit ago, and I was hesitant on trying it because... I really don't like mascaras with really big wands, um, and this one, it's not huge, but it is kind of big. So this is the wand on this. It kind of curls a little bit, it has a little bit of a wave to it, which I'm not sure if that's supposed to help curl it, your eyelashes, but the application on this is okay. It's a little on the thick side, so it ends up, you know, after two coats, which is pretty much the most that I'll do on my eyelashes, with exception to the cores. It really makes it look really spidery and clumpy, like they stick together, and it's kind of, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of this. A lot of people raved about it. Again, it looks like this, um, but it really wasn't my favorite, so, yeah. <laughs> Another one that I thought was just absolutely ridiculous, in my opinion, is this Bad Girl Lash from Benefit. Now, I'm a huge fan of Benefit, but this one's just pooey. looks like this. Um, this one's also a sample size. Obviously, I like trying samples before I like spending like 30, 20 to 30 bucks on a mascara if I want to spend that. Most of the time, I opt for the drugstore. But I got a sample of this one, and check out the size of this wand. It's ginormous. It's not flexible. This sucks because when you get close to the inner corner of your eye, it's huge. So it ends up either getting on your eyelid or below, and, you know, ends up either poking your eye almost out or... Just not really good application at all, so I think they should have been a little bit smarter when they thought of the packaging as well as, well not really the packaging, but the wand, as well as like how it's going to, you know, how you're able to apply it. Um, it does leave residue at the end of the day under your eye, which I don't like, and I just overall, I am really not a fan of the Benefit Mascara. Um, 
Smashbox slash DNA. Uh, this one is supposed to uh, also give you the volumizing blah blah slash DNA, whatever. The one on this is ginormous also. It's shorter than the Benefit one. I don't know, I'm putting it up against my face so you can see it with my pale complexion. And this stuff is super chunky, so you only need one coat of this. And it also, if you do more than one, you're going to get those spider eyelashes, which I think are totally scary, and I, it's not me. So I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence about this one, because, I mean, it does, I think it's a decent mascara, but the wand is all about the wand. I don't want to poke my eye out, get an eye infection and all that junk, so... I guess when it comes to that, then it's really not the best one. I Sephora brand last stretcher, maximum. Ex ma oh my gosh, I can't talk. Maximum extension mascara, and you know, obviously I don't need extension, but it came with a couple of others, so I was like, oh, I'll just try it. The wand is decent on this thing. It's long. It's not thick. And I actually surprisingly do like the results of this one. I only needed two coats, tops, max, and um, no funky residue at the bottom. I mean, no more than typically used um, normally. I know a lot of mascaras typically do that anyways. But this one I have good results with. So the Sephora brand is actually really decent. I like it a lot. Next is the Clinique one. I'm a huge fan of Clinique. That's the first major makeup brand that I started with when I started wearing makeup. Um, I love their facial products. I love their makeup. It's just, I love everything about it. Um, so I was excited to try this one. This one also came in a goodie bag with a whole bunch of goodies that I've purchased. And the wand is stiff and straight. Um, the, I guess the fibers on it that have the uh, mascara on it are rather thin they're not thick so it does separate the lashes fairly well and it does a decent job of coating them without you know without like I said the spider stuff so I really really like Clinique if you are interested in trying a higher brand makeup Clinique is totally a good way to go makeup for beginners I tried it when I started out beginning beginners they have a lot of nice neutrals they have cleansing products that are amazing um, just overall a good makeup company and I definitely recommend them first. Alright, so I have two more, actually three more because I forgot one in my car but I can talk about it still. So this one is the Urban Decay Skyscraper Multi-Benefit Mascara. Now I really like the packaging because it's really cute, it's just purple swirls like this. Um, Urban Decay. Now, I like Urban Decay eyeshadows. I do. They're really pigmented, really pretty. And I am on the fence about this one also. It has the applicator like I like. The really, like, straight but prickly looking, I guess, um, fibers on there. Obviously, this one has a little bit of a tint to it. But, I don't know. I had to apply a couple. Oh, and the wand is really, it's really cool. It's flexible. See, it's flexible which is awesome for awesome applications so um, I haven't used this one so many times but when I did use it I don't think I really had a problem for it, with it so I guess if you're willing to spend that much on a mascara that is definitely a top one to definitely consider you know I just said definitely twice but um yeah so that one has been good to me so far uh, real quick the Victoria's Secret mascara that is the one mascara that I used before I tried any of these out. And this was like in high school. And that was like my holy grail mascara. Amazing. The applicator is amazing. The application is amazing. Um, the coverage is amazing. You know, it lasts all day. So that's definitely a good beginner one too if you're looking for a good mascara. But since I got off track, we'll get back on. The one that I absolutely don't recommend. It may work for other people, but it did not work for me. And I hated it. Like, hated it is this Colossal Volume Express Waterproof from Maybelline. <sighs> really cool, I like the bright yellow packaging, pretty cool. Yeah, 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 a lot of people raved about this one, so I was like, oh, I'll try it. First of all, I'm not huge into waterproof mascara, I just, I don't like it, it's such a pain in the butt to get off, I just, I've never been a fan of waterproof. Like, it's cool that a lot of people use it, whatever, more power to them, but it's just not my thing. Not my cup of tea. So anyways, I put this on. The wand is somewhat thick. This stuff clumps 
like crazy. It like took my eyelashes and separated them and clumped them in like chunks. So it looked really funky. And then on top of that, the app, you know, trying to get that crap off was a pain in the butt. So personally, in my opinion, I this is not worth the money. If I'm going to do drugstore cover girl lash blast or lash blast lux which is this one is definitely the way to go i think um i hope that was a little bit helpful in determining you know if you've heard about product you know any of the products that i mentioned and you were curious yourself i hope it helped you out a little bit if not um and you have your own opinions what your holy grail mascara is or what you love using always feel free to leave the comments below and i would love to check them out because i love mascaras like i collect those like none other obviously after seeing my 10 of billions ones. So um, you guys have a great day and I will see you all soon. Bye.